Hello guys and girls and welcome back to another video with me Bashful Brit. Today we're going to be doing a Galactic Craft tutorial. Let me just quickly set this to dawn. If any of you don't know what Galactic Craft is, it's a really really awesome mod. Uh, basically allows you to travel to different planets. Um, so it's like tra traveling between different dimensions. Each planet's got something different on it. At the moment you can only travel to the moon and Mars I believe. You can also set up a space station just outside of the world. Um, so it's a very very cool mod it's very interesting it has just been it was just added to the hermitcraft mod source pack if any of you are playing on that um, it got added I checked it out and I was like mm, what is this I haven't found any like amazing tutorials on it or any in-depth tutorials so I thought I'd um, make this little video because I've had to go research all this myself so I thought I'd make a little video to help anyone else out who is struggling with it um, just sort of because I'm very visual learner I like to watch people do things and then go do them myself if I'm reading about them I struggle to do it I think a lot of people are the same uh, which is why I'm doing this video uh, so I'm going to cover all the basics with you we're going to go today we're going to be going through all the ores uh, we're going to be going through the um, three basic machines that you need to get started and then we're going to go through collecting oil and how to compress your ingots and then in the next episodes, I'll show, show you how to refine oil into fuel, um, do all the oxygen collection stuff, which you're going to need to go into space, obviously oxygen tanks, show you how to make all the um, space armor and stuff that you're going to need, so all the equipment and that, so you've got like your oxygen stuff, parachutes, all that kind of stuff, and then we'll go into finally building the rocket and how everything is done, and then we'll get you guys shooting off to the moon, and then once we're on the planets, I'll go through bits and pieces up there, how to build space stations, whoops, go through how to build space stations, and how to build a moon base, and we'll go through a couple of little tutorial bits like that. Uh, nothing like official, but I'm going to cover all the basics of the mod uh, in the beginning here, and then we're going to move on from there. Uh, so the first thing we want to be looking at is going to be your ores. So we pop down into my little makeshift mine down here. Where I've got everything labelled up. Uh, so there's four different kinds of ores with Galactic Craft. Uh, you've got your silicon ore, you've got your copper ore, tin ore, and your aluminium ore. Obviously, if you're running any other mods within your mod pack, if you've got mod source on, obviously you'll have copper ore, tin ore, and aluminium ore from stuff like Tinkers, and I believe uh, thermal expansion, if that's what it's still called. Yeah, it's called thermal expansion. Um, so you have all these basic. You can use you can use the same ores and ingots from another mod uh, but the only one that isn't included anywhere else is silicon ore this is found between levels 0 to 25 three clumps per chunk and an average seven blocks uh, per clump I spelt that one wrong um, yeah so average seven blocks per clump so you got every chunk you've got these are, this is a little bit rarer than the rest to find but you will find it and you are going to need it uh, so make sure you go hunting for this. Make sure you go hunting for a lot of like ores and stuff before you actually start doing anything on this mod because you're going to need a fair few of them. Uh, so the next thing we're going to need is copper ore. This is found between levels 0 to 75. It's a very common ore. It's the most common one you can find. Um, 24 clumps every chunk. Average 7 block clumps. So that's very, very um, easy to find. Uh, same with tin ore actually, 0 to 60, 22 clumps every chunk, seven, average of 7 again. And then aluminium ore, average of 7, 0 to 45, 18 clumps within every chunk. So these three here are pretty basic to find. If you've got other mods installed, it makes it even easier to find them all. Um, but then you've got your silicon ore, a little bit rarer, but you will find it and you are going to need it. So get hunting for your silicon ore. So if you pop up here real quick, um, so as you guys mainly know, this is how ores work. Put your ore in a furnace with a piece of coal and you'll get your ingots out. Uh, it works the same with tin and the same with aluminium. The only one that is different when you mine the ore will be the silicon. You will not get the silicon ore block, you will get raw silicon instead. You are going to need this in the future. Uh, you're going to actually need this to progress any further after this. Well, you could do a couple bits, but then to progress past this part, 
uh, you're going to need your silicon ore so make sure you've got that but you're going to need all of these in advance uh, so the next thing after we've done all this is we're going to start looking at power sources and how to route the power uh, the best way to be doing this is with the aluminium wires that are provided by Galactic Craft, especially once you're on the moon because you can make actual blocks. Um, where is it? There you go. Sealable aluminium wires. So you can make a sealed room on the moon with oxygen in it and you can actually pass your wires in and out of the building. I think you can only do it with the Galactic Craft wires if you still want a sealed room. Uh, so you're going to have to... So it's better to use these for everything really. Um, so these are pretty simple to make. It's just three iron, uh, three aluminium ingots or aluminium ingots if you're American. I still don't get why you guys say that, but anyway, uh, you got three wool there, three wool there, and that's going to give you six aluminium wire. I'm going to need this to make this machine, which is a coal generator. It's one of the three power options that you have within Galactic Craft, uh, but just bear in mind also that these can run these do run off redstone flux which you can use thermal expansion for so you can use dynamos you can use tesseracts you can use energy cells you can use whatever setup you have to produce rf uh, but we're going to go with galactic craft only on this one just for the time being so you guys can see uh, so this one here is a coal generator you basically place your coal in this it will provide redstone flux for you and it will power your machines uh, you might want a couple of these if you've got a couple of things running off of it. So you might want a couple of generators. Uh, but they're fairly simple to make. It's just three copper ingots across the top. Iron ingot, furnace, iron ingot. And then another iron ingot there and there with aluminium wire in the middle. And that will make you one of these. And basically all you do is you pop your coal in there and it will generate power for you. As it's not going to show anything at the minute because we've got power in here. Um, but this is the next thing. So this is the next thing I'm going to show you. Sorry, this is a circuit fabricator. This is basically going to make some um, wafers for you. You can make three different types. You can make blue solar wafer, basic wafer, and your advanced wafer. Uh, the three different ways you do this is a circuit fabricator requires a set certain amount of items. So up here you can see a grayed out diamond. So you're going to need a diamond there. Here you can see raw silicon and again here. So you're going to need raw silicon in both of those there. And as you can see here we've got a grayed out redstone um, dust picture. So you've got to put redstone dust in there. So this is basically what you need in there. It's required. You can't put anything else in these slots or it will not work. And then depending on what you put up in this slot here is dependent on what you get out down here. So if you get a redstone torch, a redstone torch will give you three basic wafers. As you can see, this is now kicking off. It takes a little while to heat up and then it will start to generate redstone flux per tick. I believe the maximum is 75 RF per tick on one of the coal generators. Uh, but yes, as you can see there, we put one redstone torch in and we get three basic wafers out of that. So the next one we put in is the redstone repeater. This one's a little bit more expensive to make, uh, obviously, because it's a repeater. It takes two redstone torches. It's not really that expensive if you have a ton of redstone lying around, but it's more expensive than the torch itself. And that will give you one advanced wafer as opposed to the three basic we got from one torch. So these are a little bit more expensive to make, uh, but definitely you need them later on down the line. And the very last one you place in there is one piece of lapis which is going to give you these blue solar wafers which you're going to need to make single solar modules single solar modules which you're going to use to make full solar panels which are going to then be used to make um, advanced solar panels so these are the other two power options is this one here the sorry the basic solar panel and then the advanced solar panel so these ones are a little bit more expensive to make, but if you want to run off solar, solar and not coal, then that's probably going to be a bit better for you. So then, there you go, you got your blue solar wafers there. I will cover solar panels in a completely different episode to this. I just want to get you guys with the basic machines and get you running. Right, so once you've done this, you've got your coal generators set up, you've got your circuit fabricator running, you want to make a couple of basic, couple of your wafers and whatever not. 
The next thing you want to be making is a compressor. Compressor is what you need to advance any further within this mod pack. Uh, it's pretty simple to make, but it does require a wafer, which is why you need to make the circuit fabricator first. Ah, I need to show you how the guys tell to make the circuit fabricator. <laughs> Uh, so this one's pretty simple, it's not very expensive at all, it's two pieces of aluminium wire on the two, bottom two here, two buttons there, two aluminium ingots in the top here, and then you've got lever, furnace, redstone torch, pretty simple stuff. So once you've got that made, you've made yourself some wafers and whatnot, you're going to need one to make this, let me just set this to noon again. Um, so yeah, to make this, you need one anvil in the top, so it's going to take a little bit of iron to make this one. Uh, you're going to need, yeah, so aside from all these, you're going to need a lot of iron as well, I think. Um, yeah, because you need to make, I'll show you why you need a lot of iron in a bit. Uh, so you need an anvil, you need one copper ingot, and one of your basic wafers, which is why we need this machine. And then we need the aluminium ingots down the side there, and that's going to make yourself a compressor. A uh, compressor does not run off of energy at all, it will run off of fuel, so you'll be placing coal or whatever fuel source you like in there, and then you put what you need up here and it will compress it down for you. Um, I'll show you that a little bit more over here, uh, and what sort of things you're going to be making off of that. Uh, but like I said, to advance any further, you're going to be needing you're going to need that compressor because the next thing we're going to be making is a portable oil extractor. This, and you're also going to need empty canisters, sorry. This is going to allow you to go around and extract oil from any oil sources you found. I haven't found one yet, so I'm not going to go hunting for one. I might make one here in a moment. Um, but yeah, if you have any other mods installed, say like Buildcraft, I think it is, um, you can use their oil pumps and you can use their oil tanks. I think you can also use their refineries and make it all into fuel that way, but we're going to go pure galactic craft on this and pretend we haven't got anything else installed, uh, which is a bit pointless because you need bronze and you can, galactic craft doesn't actually have a way to make bronze at the moment, which I think is pretty stupid. Um, but hopefully they'll add that in the future or something like that. Uh, hopefully there'll be like a recipe. I'm not sure if you actually disable something, it might have a recipe for it. Um, but nonetheless... We've got a portable oil extractor. This is made using three compressed bronze, two compressed steel, and a piece of redstone dust. This is going to allow you to, it's basically a pipette thing if you ever use them in school and you stick it in a dish and like suck up a little bit of oil or suck up a little bit of liquid or whatever you were doing in science, other than messing around, of course. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you see so you need empty canisters on you and then you can suck up oil and put it in these canisters. Uh, these canisters are fairly simple to make as well. It's going to be compressed tin, compressed steel, a piece of glass, and a tin canister. And to make your tin canisters, they're fairly simple. It's upside down pants, and you get two of them, and you make that out of tin ingots. Right, so you guys are probably now asking, like, how are we meant to be getting these bronze plates and these steel plates? Um, obviously, this is the compressor. This is compressed steel and bronze, and compressed tin and whatnot so I'm quickly going to show you guys now how to make all the compressed stuff um, with base with your basic stuff so you've got your tin here you've got your bronze here aluminium copper and your iron it's basically just two to the side like that and you'll get one piece of compressed for two ingots like that and you basically just drop your fuel source in there and it will compress all of that down for you as you can see there we've got 40 25 and 25 24 24 and we've got 41 in there now so that's just going to keep going like that for a minute so obviously two two tin for tin compressed tin two bronze for compressed bronze aluminium same same for copper and same for iron because you are going to need iron i'll show you exactly why now as you can see there was no um recipe there for the steel one because steel is a little bit more advanced it's a little bit more expensive so it's going to take you two coal and two iron for every plate of steel that you have this is why you're going to need a ton of iron to get through this mod uh, so once you've made your compressed iron, you're going to have to then take it over here, put a coal either side and one piece in the middle, and that's going to make you one piece of compressed steel. And you're going to need quite a bit of compressed steel later on down the line. 
Uh, but that is all that I'm going to cover in this episode. If you guys have any problems or any questions with Galactic Craft and you need any help, uh, please leave it down in the comments below. I'm more than happy to help you guys out as usual and I'll do the best. Uh, I'll do the do it to the best of my ability to help you guys out and help you guys through the mod. Um, but we've got up to this point now. Uh, I want you guys, if you guys are just starting off on Galactic Craft, I want you to run around with your portable oil extractor and your empty canisters. And I want you to go get a ton of oil. Uh, I want you to go get all of these ingots and ores and whatnot. And then start building your basic machines, make a couple of wafers and start compressing a ton of stuff. And then the next episode I'll show you how to refine and make fuel. I'll show you how to collect oxygen and all of that and how to store it and then I'll show you how to make all the space stuff and then we'll do the rockets like I said in another episode and then we'll go off on an adventure. Uh, but that has been it for this episode. I hope you guys have found it useful. Uh, like I said, leave down in the comments below if you have any questions or any feedback at all would be very helpful indeed. Uh, but thank you guys very much for watching. hope you guys all have a very fantastic day and I'll see you later. Bye.